Are you ready? Hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. We will continue the safety briefing in Module 3. In this module, we will cover all the topics related with chemicals including regulations related to it such as Class 2013 and USP 2000. Besides I will show you the example of documents that you should prepare in your laboratory. Hope you will enjoy and stay until the end of this presentation. What is chemical? Chemicals means chemical elements, or compound, or mixtures thereof, whether natural or synthetic. Chemical does not include microorganism. It can exist in solid, liquid or gas. Hazard communication. Hazard communication is a set of processes and procedures that employers and importers must implement in the workplace to effectively communicate hazards associated with chemicals during handling, shipping, and any form of exposure. Major elements in hazard communication includes 1. Training 2. Safety data sheet 3. Label 4. Signal word 5 pictograms 6 precautionary statement 7 hazard statement Hazard pictograms alert us to the presence of a hazardous chemical. The pictograms help us to know that the chemicals we are using might cause harm to people or the environment. The standard hazard pictograms appear in the shape of a diamond with a distinctive red border and white background. One or more pictograms might appear on the labeling of a single chemical. There are nine hazard pictograms officially in use today. Flame over circle. This symbol means identifies oxidizer. Oxidizers are chemicals that facilitate burning or make fires burn hotter and longer. It may cause a fire by increasing the concentration of oxygen in the air. Flame. It appears on chemical labels for substances that are flammables, which are gases, aerosols, liquids, or solids that will burn or ignite under certain conditions. Self reactives. Heating alone, without air, may cause fire or explosion. Pyrophorics. In small amounts, may ignite within five minutes after contact with air. Self heating which may catch fire only in large amounts and after long periods of time when exposed to air. Emitters of flammables gas and organic peroxides, which when heated, may cause fire or explosion, may be sensitive to impact or friction and may react dangerously with other other chemicals. Exploding bomb. The exploding bomb pictogram appears on the chemical labels of substances that are explosives which is a solid or liquid chemical capable of a chemical reaction that causes damage to the surroundings. Self-reactive. Heating may cause fire or explosion. Organic peroxides. Heating may cause fire or explosion. Corrosion. The symbol within the pictogram shows a container dripping liquid onto a hand. This symbol indicates that hazardous products with this pictogram can damage or destroy metal. Cause irreversible damage to the skin for example burns, blisters, and scarring and produce tissue damage in the eye or vision loss that is irreversible or not fully reversible within 21 days. Hazardous products with this pictogram can be safely worked with if proper storage and handling practices are followed. Health Hazard This pictogram is put on a chemical label when a substance presents these health hazards, carcinogen. May cause cancer. Respiratory sensitizer may cause respiratory irritation reproductive toxicity may damage fertility or the unborn child target organ toxicity may cause damage to bodily organs mutagenicity may cause genetic defects aspiration toxicity 
may be fatal if swallowed and it enters the airways. Skull and crossbone. These chemicals are poisons that quickly cause sickness or death. A toxin may attack one or more parts of the body, such as the liver, kidneys, nerves, lungs, skin, eyes, or bone. Skull exclamation mark. These chemicals cause health problem. Usually less toxic than chemicals labeled with the health hazard or skull and crossbone pictograms. This pictogram is also used for chemicals that can be destroy the ozone layer. It is used on a chemical label for substances that represent the following hazards, irritant. Irritates the skin or eyes. Skin sensitizer. Which is an allergic response following skin contact. Acute toxicity. Which may be fatal or cause organ damage from a single short-term exposure. Narcotic effects like drowsiness, lack of coordination, and dizziness, and respiratory tract irritation. Gas cylinder. Gases under pressure. Gases and liquids under pressure can explode. This pictogram is used for both pressurized gases and liquefied gases such as liquid nitrogen. Hazardous to environment. This non-mandatory pictogram means the hazard of the chemical presents is aquatic toxicity. These chemicals are dangerous if they get into rivers, lakes, or oceans. Roots of exposure. Roots of exposure are the way people or other living organism come into contact with a hazardous substance. Exposure to chemicals may occur by the following routes, ingestion, inhalation, injection, absorption, skin or eye contact. Laboratory requirement. All laboratories should provide the documents as follow, safety data sheet, chemical inventory, chemical register, purchasing record and disposal record. All the documents must be updated regularly. Classification, labeling and safety data sheet of the hazardous chemicals regulation 2013, class 2013. Class Regulations 2013 has been gazetted on October 2013. The objectives of Class 2013 are as follow, 1 to incalculate the safe use of hazardous chemicals at the workplace through hazard identification and hazard communication. 2 to prescribe duties of chemical suppliers especially on the requirement pertaining to the classification of hazardous chemicals. 3 the labeling of chemical packages. 4. The provision of safety data sheet. 5. The maintenance of chemical inventory. Duty of chemical supplier. Supplier are defined as persons who supply the hazardous chemicals. Principal supplier are the suppliers who formulate, manufacture, import, recycle or reformulate hazardous chemical while subsidiary supplier are suppliers who repack, distribute or retail the hazardous chemical. Suppliers are responsible to do the classification, labeling, Preparation of safety data sheet, packaging and chemical inventory information. Chemical classification means finding out whether the chemicals you supply can harm you, others or the environment. Classification is important because it provides the starting point for the controls needed to protect people and the environment. This guidance is to help you understand the basics of classification and where you can find detailed help and advice. Basically, Chemical will be classified accordance to the hazard classification in first schedule including physical hazard, health hazard and environmental hazard. 16 categories in physical hazards include, explosives, oxidizing in liquids, solids, and gases, organic peroxides, flammables in gases, aerosols, liquids, and solids, gases under pressure, self-reactive substances, pyrophoric in liquids and solids, self-heating substances, substances which on contact with water emits flammable gases and corrosive to metals. 11 categories in health hazards includes, acute toxicity, germ cell mutagenicity, carcinogenicity, carcinogenicity, reproductive toxicity, specific target organ toxicity, skin corrosion, serious eye damage, respiratory sensitization, skin sensitization, and aspiration hazard. Environmental hazards contain hazard to aquatic environment, acute or chronic and hazardous to the ozone layer. Packaging is the science, art, and technology of enclosing or protecting products for distribution, storage, sale and use. Packaging also refers to the process of designing, evaluating, and producing packages. Labeling is the display of label in a product. A label for chemical must contains chemical name, product identifier, 
hazard pictograms, supplier identification, first aid statement, signal word, hazard statement, and precautionary statement. Relabelling happens when user transferred the chemicals in another container. For container less than 125 milliliter, the label must contain supplier identification, signal word, hazard pictogram, and a statement read safety data sheet before use. Safety data sheet or SDS is a document that lists information relating to occupational safety and health for the use of various substances and products. SDS are widely used system for cataloging information on chemicals, chemical compounds, and chemical mixtures. SDS provide useful information on chemicals, describing the hazards the chemical presents, and giving information on handling, storage, and emergency measures in case of an accident. SDS need to revise if there are new information on the hazardous chemical, or the SDS more than five years have elapsed since last date of revision or preparation or directed by officer. SDS should be written in national language and English. The contents of safety data sheet are as follow, identification of the hazardous chemical and supplier, hazards identification, composition information on on ingredients, first aid measures, fire fighting measures, accidental release. Handling and storage, exposure controls, and personal protection, physical, chemical properties, stability and reactivity, toxicological information, ecological information. Disposal considerations, transport information, regulatory information, and other information. A chemical inventory list is an important component of your chemicals management program. Chemical inventory is the list of all chemicals used in the laboratories. The contents basically extracted from safety data sheet includes item name, brand, catalog number, con number, location details, price, quantity, and unit size, name of supplier, date opened and expiration date. Guideline for safe storage of chemicals. Examine available storage spaces. Store chemicals in its own storage. Make sure the chemical container is suitable and in a good condition. Ensure the store is well ventilated, free from heat, water, and flammable sources. Keep food away from chemicals. Store in a correct upright position and avoid flood cluster. Use secondary container. Properly labeled according to the contents. Store according to the hazard and compatibility group. Lastly, store non-hazardous and small chemical on the upper shelves. Hazardous chemicals and large chemical should be stored below shoulder height. Use and standard of exposure of chemical hazardous to health regulations 2000. USC 2000. USC 2000 was gazetted on April 4, 2000. USC 2000 is designed to protect safety and health of employee and other person from being affected by chemical hazardous to health use at the workplace. The objectives of USC 2000 are, to prevent the occurrence of occupational diseases, poisoning or adverse health effect. To provide legal framework for the employer to control hazardous industrial chemicals use at the workplace. To set workplace exposure standard in order to protect the health of the employees and other personnel at the workplace. To promote excellence in management of those chemicals that are known to be hazardous to health, by establishing a framework for their responsible use in the workplace. Definition of use. Production. Processing. Handling. Transport storage. Disposal. Treatment. Chemical hazardous to health. Hazardous chemicals are substances that can cause adverse health effects such as poisoning, breathing problems, skin rashes, allergic reactions, allergic sensitization, cancer and other health problems. 
Chemical hazardous to health also means any chemical preparation which is listed in Schedule 1 or 2 in USC 2000 regulations possesses any of the properties categories in Schedule 1 of Class 2013 regulations comes within definition of pesticide under the Pesticide Act 1974 and listed in the first schedule of Environmental Quality Scheduled Wastes Regulations 1989. Chemical Register A chemical register is a list of all hazardous chemicals stored, handled, or used at a workplace. The lab user shall identify and record all chemicals hazardous to health used in the workplace. The register shall be maintained in good order and condition and be updated from time to time. The register shall be accessible to all users. The register contains the information of, list of all chemical used. Current Chemical Safety Data Sheet Average quantity used, produced, or stored. Process and work area where the chemicals are used. Name and address of the supplier of each chemical. Chemical register. A chemical register.
Personal Protective Equipment Personal protective equipment is protective clothing, helmets, goggles, or other garments or equipment designed to protect the worker's body from injury or infection. The examples of personal protection equipment. Lab coat, overall and protective apron. Glove and Google. Mask and respirator. Earmuff and earplug. Safety boot.